the internet as we knew it is over. The internet that we use as a mechanism of democratization, of equal access, in a way that's kind of winding down, because the internet has now become, of course, as you know, the domain of very, very, very large companies, most of them being American. In fact, 92% of them are from America. Now, I haven't lived in America for a long time. I will talk more about that in a, in a second. But basically what's happening now is that all of a sudden we're realizing, uh, as this sticky note here shows, this is a sticky note that was taken from a meeting of the NSA, the National Security Agency. It was published a couple of weeks ago in The Guardian. This is a sticky note that shows how the NSA cracked Google and got inside of the servers. And this is a note that basically says, this is how we do it and how we did it. So all of a sudden, we're, we can safely say we're entering an age of privacy and security failure. I mean, it's interesting to see, of course, that this is a global phenomenon. This is not just the Americans are doing this. I mean, everybody is, of course, including Switzerland. But what's now happening is that people are realizing what we are doing on the internet is extremely important to everybody. All that data becomes a giant resource. I'll talk more about that in a second, but data has become, indeed, the new oil. This is a very, very old formula. You, I hope you have heard this before. It was actually started in 2006. But if you live in an oil-rich country like Indonesia or Trinidad, you'll soon notice that the economy is moving away from the oil and towards the data. So data is becoming a primary driver of economies. 